Okay, until now we have been discussing much of the much about the material that relates to the inputs or the raw material that comes into the store. Okay. We were quite input intensive and we were looking at how much material we should be buying, how much raw material we must be having, at what cost we must be buying, etc. But up to this point, until now, we haven't touched the other part or another aspect of the material, which is finished goods. And one other is work in process, but so far we'll not be discussing work in process. But one last topic of our discussion is related with finished goods. Okay. And in this topic, what we have to discuss is name of the topic is economic batch quantity. Suppose you are producing definitely something and you can produce that item in batches. That means you start your machine once a week or twice a week or whenever and produce the goods there is there will be a particular capacity of the machine that it can produce a day or a week or an in an hour that will be the production capacity per time period of that unit and then we also have to think about at what rate you are the inventory that you have produced would be consumed or will be sold you also have to think about the setup cost <clears throat> that means every time you have to start the machine and produce the finished goods there will be some costs that you will be incurring like scheduling uh, the production run the um, holding cost and um, and also you'll have to think about um, the handling cost you have to move the stock from raw material store to production hall to start the production okay and you also have to think about at what rate you can produce so there are different variables that get connected with each other. Now the question is how much amount you should be producing for in each production run, in each batch, how much you should be producing. Now in order to answer this question and why we need to answer this question is the same reason that we were discussing in raw material scenario. That means if we are buying more than required raw material, then we'll be incurring holding cost on that. Okay, and, 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 and that will be considered as a loss. So we shouldn't be having an extra burden on our incomes by buying more than necessary material. And if we are not buying enough, that means the quantity of raw material is too low, we'll be facing stock outages. Similarly here, when we are producing, even if we can produce a large set of units, we must not be doing it unless it's necessary. And also our production should not be that slow that our sales gets affected because of that. Okay, so that means that your rate of production must be more than the rate of consumption. So all these factors, when get it one place and also when the reasons are quite similar to the reasons and the worries that we have regarding raw material we can use the same economic order quantity formula with slight variation to answer the same question that means how many units we should be producing in each batch but for that the formula is something like this so let's have it here, 2 
multiplied by setup cost per production run multiplied by units or total units to be consumed for a particular period that is a month, two months and then divide by the holding cost and then one minus total units to be consumed divided by rate of production okay so this is the formula to calculate your economic batch quantity or in other words the number of unit units you should be producing in each batch okay and let's uh, have one question and let's understand how to apply this formula then okay here we have the question a strong or limited manufactures the eatables production facility is able to churn out 4,500 units each day whereas the rate of sale is 2,000 units per day the cost of holding one unit is um, 0 0.002 dollars a day and setup cost for each production run is 25 dollars determine the economic batch quantity that means how many units you should be producing each batch okay well for that just apply the formula let's see 2 multiplied by 25 multiplied by consumption is 2000 sorry and then we're dividing holding cost of 0 0.002 multiplied by uh, Okay, 1 minus uh, 2,000 to I buy 4,500. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just uh, have it aligned here like this. And here you have the formula completely. Okay. All right, let's calculate the values. 2 multiplied by 25 multiplied by 2000 gives us 100,000 divided by hmm. okay 2000 divided by 4500 I get 0.444 occurring so it will be my 1 minus 0.44 gives me 0.56 Okay, so it will be 0 0.002 multiplied by 0.56, and all of this amount is under a square root like this. Okay, let's uh, calculate even further get point zero zero double one two thousand divided by mm -hmm. yeah like this okay and if I sum this up further, I get a really large amount like 89285714 and if I take a square root of this I get 9449. Okay, there's some decimals in place. Okay, but I'll be rounding it up and making it 9,449. So you should be producing 
9,449 units in each batch. Okay. Then let's extend our discussion a bit. I mean, if you are producing 9,449 units in each batch and you are selling 2,000 units each day, then after how many days you will be running production process again? Let's calculate that. You have to start your production uh, to 4.7 to 4.7 days. I mean, by the evening or afternoon of the fourth day, okay, <clears throat> you'll have to arrange another production run. You'll have to produce the number of units or you will face problems in selling the goods okay so this is what economic batch quantity is which is simply tells you that how many units you should be producing each time you set up a production okay so that your holding cost and setup costs are kept at minimum level <clears throat> 